everyone, thanks for joining me at Yoga360 with Elnaz. Today I want to do a few very simple exercises for the hips, the groins, hip flexors, and uh, basically flex the muscles around the waist and the hips. So thanks for joining me and let's start the poses. So just have a simple seat, try to see if you can actually sit on your knees and if it's hard for you, you can actually have a bolster or a cushion between your hip and uh, the ankles. So just sit normal. I'll sit to the side and you can see me better. So while we are here, let's just walk our hands a little bit to the back and slowly just walk the hands further. And then if you are able, then we're going to put the elbows down coming on the elbows and we're stretching the quads so letting the neck to be the extension of the spine and this is a great place to start cultivating your breath your ujjayi breath and slowly walking your hands coming up then we're coming to the tabletop position, keeping the wrists underneath your shoulders, the knees underneath the hip. Let's start a little bit of circular movement to the right with your head. Imagine you are actually circling or you're drawing a circle with your hip all the way to the right side. And then let's start to the left. And then when you're ready, just open the knees a little bit further and then sit back all the way to your child pose. We're extending the arm to the front of the room. The forehead is on the floor. So we're going to do a few floating poses. So basically we're going to come to the tabletop and we're going to pass the wrists. So we are inhaling here and we're exhaling, sinking back again to the child pose. Breathe. Coming up and exhale, sinking back. You're breathing, inhaling, coming up, and exhaling, sinking back. Again, you're breathing, inhale, coming up, and exhale, sinking back. And then from here, slowly walk your hands to the right side when you are in the child pose. Let's do a stretch on the left side of the body. These are all great poses, especially for warming up the hips, the groins areas, and then slowly walk your hands, coming to the middle, and then walk your hands to the left side, stretching the right side of the body, and then slowly coming back. To the center coming to the tabletop and then coming to the seated position so bring the soles of the feet together this is called Bada Konasana in Sanskrit while we're here you might already feel the stretch in the groins if this is good for you you just stay here if you feel that you can still extend yourself just slowly walk your hands a little bit further to the front of the room so we're, i'm bringing the body closer to the soles of the feet i just want to make sure that i'm in the right position so i'm going to walk myself back as you can probably see me better So staying here for a few more breaths. Talking about the ujjayi breath, the ujjayi breath is a breath that is happening both from the nose 
inhales from the nose, exhales from the nose. But when we inhale, the air is going to go and get constricted around the bottom of the throat. And then we're exhaling back with the, from the nose. So that's called the Ujjayi breath. And it usually has a little bit of hmm sound. The stretches round, we're coming back up. Then let's just stack your right knee on top of the left knee. It's okay if it's not 100% stack. As, mu as much as you're trying, that's completely enough. And then while we're here, we're gonna put the left hand, left palm on right knee. And I'm extending myself all the way to the ceiling, to the, the right hand to the ceiling and bringing it behind myself. So this is one form of the twist. But at the same time, in this pose, you might feel a lot of stretch around, again, the hip flexors. And again, try to keep the shin parallel to the floor. And breathe. Again, when you're ready, slowly come back to the center. We're going to switch the legs. We're going to stack the left knee on top of the right knee. And sometimes you might feel like one side is different from the other. So it's like usually one side, it's, it might be easier or harder. So you check it with yourself. And we're gonna put the right hand on top of the left knee and I'm gonna extend the left hand all the way and put it behind myself. And again, breathe in and breathe out. You can gaze to the side of the room, but you don't want so much have any pressure on the neck area. Keep your chest open. And then slowly we're coming back to the center. Let's just unravel the legs. And then from here, Maybe do a little bit of windshield wiper, just keeping the legs in front of you and just a little bit of like easy poses, which is helping with the hip flexors. And then when you're ready, we're gonna go to the V pose, which is actually we are trying to keep, I mean, open the leg like a V shape. Again, if you feel you're good here, you don't need to further push yourself to the front. But if you if you can, and you see it in yourself, then you can actually make your hands like a cupcake and just slowly walk yourself to the front. It's a good idea to keep the feet flexed because it's going to help with protecting the knees as well as it's going to even intensify the stretch. Again, breathe in and breathe out. And when you, after like 30 seconds, usually we try to come back, then just bend your right leg and put the feet, the foot adjacent to the inner thigh and then slowly just extend yourself, stretch yourself to the left foot. So again, see if you can. Here, the ideal pose is that you wanna bring both hands to the feet, but if you can't, it's okay to keep the uh, palms on the shin or anywhere that you get. As long as you're feeling the stretch around the waist is completely fine. And that's what we're looking for. And 
and slowly begin coming back up. Let's switch to the other side. And again, we're gonna slowly just lean to our, our leg and slowly bring the other hand. Again, let's the stretch happens. Don't go too much down, you know better where to stop. And then slowly and already coming back up. And then again, bend both knees. We're gonna come again I want to do it from the side that you see it better. We're keeping the feet on the floor and a few inches away from the hip, bringing the hands behind yourself. We're going to do the tabletop position, but a reverse tabletop. So I'm going to take a breath, lift the hip, and exhale, bring the hip down. So again, we're going to do it again. Take a breath, inhale, lift the hip and exhale again lift the hip inhale and exhale and again lift the hip and exhale and the last round lift the hip and exhale And from here we're gonna come all the way uh, again coming back to the tabletop keeping the knees we're gonna come to the supported plank position which the knees are on the floor and coming all the way to the floor putting the bellies on the floor so you can extend your arms all the way to the front of the room let's do let's lift the right hand and the left leg and then switch to the opposite and again switch and again switch and again switch you can bring your hands next to your wrists the palms next to your wrists and hug the elbows in we're gonna do a cobra pose take a breath open the chest to the front and exhale Put the head down. And then we're going to push to the plank position, coiling the toes on. I mean, you can come as a supported plank as well. And then coil your toes. And coming all the way to the plank. And pushing ourselves to the downward facing dog. All the way, push the hips and the thighs toward the back of the room. And again, staying here for five deep breaths. You can pedal your feet a little bit to do more stretch. And from here, just lift the left leg to the hip height and bring it to your chest and then step it between both hands. It's okay if you scooch your foot after you step it to the front. And then put the back knee down, point your toes, your back toes, and then slowly we're gonna come all the way to up and extending the arms to the ceiling. This is called the low lunge. So trying to find the balance here, again, we're trying to make sure that the knee is stacked over the the heel and extending the arm and again from here I haven't I mean at this we want to do a few floating and if you have a block it would be useful to use the block however I'll show it to you without the block so we're gonna keep the blocks first here I mean for the ones who have the block and then I'm gonna push myself a little bit to the front if, if there is no block, then you can actually use the floor. So I'm pushing myself, extending the back, basically flexing the back leg. And then I'm going to sit back and basically pull my hip 
toward the back and stretching the front leg as you can see and flexing the front leg again I'm gonna take a breath here passing the heel stretching the groins and again exhaling pulling the hip back and stretching the front leg and again take a breath and exhale take a breath and exhale and then this time we're coming back so I have a I mean there there's a variation for this pose which you want to do if you think that you can do this we're gonna basically coil the toes of the back foot coming to the uh, runners uh, lunge and then from here I want to do the twist basically keeping the right hand on the floor and twisting to the left side however the variation would be that for the ones which is more difficult then we can keep the knee where it is on the floor and then twisting so just letting this twist happening in the body you want to make sure that even while you're twisting still the front knee is stacking over the front heel and the shoulder is above the wrist so make sure and you don't want to crunch yourself on the shoulder so just keep your body strong and straight and again don't forget your ujjayi breath and then slowly bring the hands down we're gonna it depends if you're under if you're at the runner's lunge we're just gonna push coming to the plank position and then from here we're gonna do one more one more cobra putting the knees down these are the supported ones and slowly coming on our belly again adjusting the hands next to your rib so it's up to you if you want you can come to the cobra if you feel we can do more, maybe you can extend yourself all the way and come to the up dog. Basically my hips, my thighs are off the ground right now. And coil your toes under, push the hips and the thighs all the way toward the back of the room. We're going back to downward facing dog. And we're gonna stand here for five deep breaths. Take a deep breath and open your mouth let it go and then this time after the, uh, the uh, end of the last exhale we're gonna lift the left leg and bring it to your chest and step it between your hands so we're gonna sorry i made a mistake you have to do it to the other side so in this case you're going to lift the right leg and lift and bring it between your chest and step it between your hands because we did the other side so i'm gonna move myself that you can see me better so put the back knee down point your toes slowly come all the way up to the low lunge make sure that the knee is above the heel and again the knees should be aligned with the second toes this is the right alignment at the same time trying to give a little bit of space between the neck and the shoulder so don't push too hard like externally rotate and rotate the arms a little bit like opening the area the space around the neck Okay, right now bringing your hands to your uh, on, on the floor and we're gonna do still floating we're gonna pass like stretching and passing letting the knee pass the heel and again exhaling coming back all the way extending the front leg stretching the, the hamstring of the front leg again you're taking a breath here passing opening the chest to the side and exhale one more time, take a deep breath, 
opening the chest to the front, and exhale. One more time, and exhale. And again, one more time. Again, coming back to the normal position, keeping the hands on the floor. If you can, again, we're going to go to the runner's lunge, coiling the back toes under, keeping the left hand on the floor, and we're going to twist to the right side all the way. We're trying to keep the back leg also straight. I mean, if you are in the runner's lunge, and breathe. To the floor, we're gonna again push the front leg to the back. If you are in the plank position or if the knees are on the floor, whichever you are, just slowly we're coming all the way on our bellies. We're gonna do one more back bend, either up dog or cobra. We're gonna take a breath and opening the chest all the way to the front. And then again, exhaling, coiling your toes back, pushing the hips and the thighs toward the back of the room. Coming to downward facing dog. And staying here for five deep breaths. Slowly coming to the hands and knees, coming to the seated position. So these were the sets that I wanted to practice with you guys today. So um, I hope that you enjoyed it and you can do this at home as much as you want. So we are going to just stay tuned, we are going to do other poses in the coming sessions. So just close your eyes. Bring